Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem. And here we have n minus 4 and its whole cubed is equals to minus 64 and we will solve this problem for the values of n. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first uh, I can rewrite this equation as n minus 4 and its whole cubed and we move this minus 64 in the left hand side and you will get here plus 64 and this whole equation is equal to 0 and now in the next step uh, we will write this equation as n minus 4 and its whole cubed plus here you have 64 and we can write it as 4 cubed and you know that 4 cubed is equals to 64 and in the next step we will use here uh, the nice cubic formula and you know that about this formula if we have a cubed plus b cubed it is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square so now we will apply here this nice uh, cubic formula and you see here this is the value of a and this is the value of b so now we can put the values of a and b in this uh, formula and you will get its uh, output in the form of uh, n minus 4 plus 4 into n square and n uh, sorry a square and a is n minus 4 square and minus a b so a is n minus 4 and b is 4 plus b square and b is 4 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now in the next step we will just simplify the terms and here you see that this plus 4 and minus 4 are cancelled by each other and here we obtain n times of n minus 4 whole square and you know that n minus 4 whole square is equals to uh, n square plus 4 square minus 2 times of n into 4 and we multiply this 4 on this term and you will get here minus 4 times of n plus 4 times of 4 is 16 and here you have 4 square and 4 square is again 16 and this whole equation is equal to 0 and now in the next step we will just simplify the terms and here you have n times of uh, n square plus 4 square is 16 and we multiply these two terms and you get minus times of 8n and minus 4n and 16 plus 16 is equals to 32 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and uh, uh, here we need to uh, more simplification here so uh, we will add or subtract the like terms and here you have n square and uh, we have minus 8n minus 4n is uh, minus 12 n and here you have 16 plus 32 and it is equals to 18 and this whole equation is equals to 0 so that here we have uh, two cases the first case is we take n is equals to 0 and the other case is uh, we take n square minus 12 n plus 48 is equals to 0 so this is the our first root of this problem and now in order to find the other roots uh, we need to solve this quadratic equation so uh, in order to solve this quadratic equation uh, here uh, we need to uh, apply the quadratic formula uh, so that here we have a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 12 and c is equals to 48 and our quadratic formula uh, will be written in the form of n is equals to minus b plus minus uh, square root of b square minus 4 times of ac and this whole over 2a 
and now we will put all the values of a b and c in this nice formula and we will get its output in the form of n is equals to minus b and we have the value of minus b is minus 12 plus minus minus 12 square and its whole square root minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 48 square root over 2 times of a is 1 and now in the next step we will just simplify the terms here uh, so that uh, you can see here we have minus times of minus is plus 12 and plus minus uh, minus 12 square is equals to 144 and minus 4 times of uh, uh, 48 is equals to 192 square root over 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 and now uh, in the next step here we need a little bit simplifications here so that we get 12 plus minus 144 minus uh, 192 is equals to uh, 48 minus times of 48 and its whole square root over 2 times of 1 is 2 so now we can uh, write here you see that the negative sign will becomes under the square root so uh, it will be equals to iota and we write this uh, 48 as 16 multiplied by 3 and its whole square root into iota over 2 and now we will just make the little bit simplifications here uh, and you see that we have 16 and we write the 16 uh, you know that the square root of 16 is 4 into uh, under root of 3 into iota and this whole over 2 and now we will just break this fraction and we write it as 12 over 2 plus minus 4 into square root 3 over 2 into iota and now we will just uh, cancel the terms and here you have 2 6 is a 12 and it is 6 plus minus 2 2 is a 4 and here you have 2 times of square root 3 into iota so these are the other two roots of the given equation and these roots are complex roots uh, and our third root is n is equals to 0 so these are the all three roots of the given equation and this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos